Welcome to QRS tutorial, how to send an invoice to a client's dashboard and how to email the invoice to the client. So we simply go up to invoicing and hit the drop down menu and we choose our invoices and uh, we'll choose an invoice that we want to send. So the most recent one we did was a postpaid. So we'll show that invoice. We've already got some payments from the client. So First, you want to send the invoice to the client's dashboard. So you click click on send. So each time you create an invoice, it doesn't automatically go to the client until you manually send it to the client's dashboard. Now, in the event that um, you want to send notification to the client that their uh, invoice is ready to view, you just simply click on send, and it says, are you sure you want to send? And it gives you a reminder and yes it's gone so next I'm just going to show you what the client sees in their dashboard to give you an idea of what they get uh, and they can see exactly what you've put in for payments and refunds okay so we're at the clients dashboard this is your clients received notification that they have a new invoice uh, they go into uh, invoices they choose my invoices and you'll notice they have their invoices in here. I want to go to the one that's most recent. So it's an issued. This is the one we just sent. They just simply click on the invoice. And now they can see that their client name, their address, the invoice number, it was a postpaid, what date it was created on, sent, day it was issued on, and the due date. It's a summary of all the information that we've put in. Uh, it wasn't a prepaid invoice. Uh, and over here you'll see as they can see their subtotal, what taxes they had to pay, the invoice total, and then what they've paid to date and a balance uh, owing. And down here you, it gives them a summary of what they've paid and what you've issued as a refund. So that's what the client sees uh, when they get their invoice. And anytime we make an update, so we'll go back and make, we'll add another payment to, to clean out this invoice. Then we'll come back to the client's dashboard to see how it, uh, how it looks for them after you've made a payment. Now we're back in the um, admin and we're in the invoicing and we want to make a final payment. So the balance is $109.98 and we'll say that the client sent us a check. So we'll put that in as $109.98. Uh, we'll take the transaction today and uh, reference number check 223 and we'll record the payment and if we go up we'll see that there's a zero balance owing now that you've sent it to the clients dashboard we can switch over and look and see automatically it'll be there so now we're back into this invoice that uh, the client has opened, they've sent us a payment, we've recorded a payment, and if we hit the refresh on the screen, it'll update the invoice and it'll show the client that they have a zero balance. So that's how you uh, record a payment and uh, for a postpaid invoice. Next, we're going to show you how to do, in, a ne in another video, how to uh, show the balances on a postpaid invoice using reports. So thank you for choosing Credit Home Watch. See you in the next video.